He's heading off to Las Vegas The pop star's going to die Twenty dollars in his pocket Is lost down a silver rocket Done. All this other stuff still to go. This is why it's good to meet the neighbors. I have such good neighbors. Thank you, Steve. By the way, it's a different neighbor than that neighbor. He lives, he lives further, further away. But they're both great neighbors. So another thing that's not on the list that I want to get done is to fill this up. I have a box 
of Archie comics in here. Or at least some of them are in here. I think most of them are in here, but I may also have some left at my mom's. Doesn't matter, I'll start with what I have. So, I'm not gonna put these in any particular order. I'm just gonna go when, uh, when I got these as a kid, I got them from my brother Ken, and Dakota and I uh, shared the collection, or most of them anyway. We got some other places as well, but the whole collection was sort of mixed up and we sorted them from like numbered so Jughead Digest would be like one, two, three, four, four, whatever one we had. Archie, Benny, and Veronica, like all the different ones we would we would keep separate. But I'm not gonna worry about that now. They used to cost a dollar fifty. And before these ones, I think they were like down to like Pals and gals, number one. But a lot of them were even cheaper. I'll see if I can find some of the older ones. Oh yeah. We also had a lot of these Western comics that we enjoyed. I'll put these on a separate shelf. Look at this old ass Casper missing the back cover and it's been taped. Wendy. I'm just gonna turn this off because it's kind of loud. And it's pretty warm in here now as well. So the cheapest one that I've found so far is uh, one dollar, which is this one right here, it's a Jughead Jones number 23. And this is from like the 1980s sometime, I think. Um, but I'm not sure. See, I got some of these newer ones. Or wait, this isn't that new. This is, yeah, 2010. This is like a, a small digest, but this one was $3. And then some of these older ones. This one's from 1993, and this is 275. I don't really know how they would have uh, priced many of them. So I don't really know what goes in there. Here's another new one. This one's 459, and this one's from 2011. This is Jughead Jones. And I got a few little Archies that I've been putting here. Oh, I used to have three of these ones, but I think I got rid of the, I think I got rid of most of my doubles. But I remember people used to give me them and I, or ask if I wanted them and I'd be like, got it, got it, got it. Here's one that belonged to my brother. It's got his name on there, Kenneth. So this is one that definitely came from him. Most of them, most of the 90s ones did, did come from him. Oh, okay. We got this one, and it's got to be, there, I got a double, so I'll pick the best condition one, and then the other one I'll, I'll uh, give to a comic book guy that I have, who uh, I trade with when I don't have one, and I see that he has one. I'm not into comic books, but like, when it's Archie's, I like Archie's. I don't buy them too often nowadays, because the new ones just have recycled old stories in them. Um, but anyways, I traded him this Casper for for something back in the day. And you can see it's still in the his packaging that he that he did. Okay. Okay. That is the last of it. I went through most of them somewhat individually to see if I had any more doubles. And it turns out I actually had three of these ones. So I'll pick the best of those. I had two of these. So I'll pick the best of those two. And I had two of these. I'll pick, oh shit. And I had two of these. And you know what's, uh, 
funny is, um, there we go. They're both missing the cover. It's obvious that this one is in better condition because these pages are, are ripped, but isn't that, isn't that like a weird coincidence that they're both missing the cover? Okay, oh, this right here is the uh, first Archie comic I ever, I ever read. And uh, these here, new Archies, I have two new Archies. I didn't really like these that much because I didn't like the way the artist drew the characters in there. I just didn't like that new style. And then I have uh, these little Archies. I didn't have very many little Archies for some reason. Now, I may have more at my mom's place. I'm, I'm not sure. I was sure I had more more than that. I'm certain of it. Although, I, I'm not positive. Now I stopped buying them now because uh, so much of them, uh, of the new ones, just recycle old, old stories and that's kind of, uh, kind of annoying to buy like something from like 2020 and then it turns out to be one that I already have or like most of the stories I've already read. Cause I, like I remember them. Cause when I was a kid, I used to read these all the time. And to choose one that I wanted to read, I would pick one off the shelf. I knew the cover. And so I would flip through it and be like, oh, okay, no, that one I read too recently. Grab another one and be like, oh, no, read this one too recently. Cause I remember this weird obscure comic within the Archie comic. And then I would eventually come across one where I'd be like, oh, I recognize the cover, but oh no, I don't remember this one where Betty is a pitcher on the, on the boys' ba uh, baseball team. And then I would take that one with me. Now when I go to a grocery store or a gas station and I pull one off of the, off the stand, I'm like, oh, there's a cover I've never seen. Actually, let's find one that actually is new or newer. This one is from 2014. That's probably one of my newest ones. I'd be like, oh, I've never seen that cover before. I'd go in and I'd be like, oh, I totally recognize this story right here. Uh, and if I read a little bit, I could probably say what the rest of the story was about. And uh, yeah, going through here, like look, even this super duck, like that's, that's vintage. Uh, I don't know if it's considered vintage, but like, all you can tell by the artwork if it's new or old and oftentimes these new ones they don't have any new stories in them at all and sometimes they'll even have new artwork for old stories that i could be making up but I, i'm pretty sure that is correct okay we're done with the archie comics part of my collection or maybe all of it i can't remember let's see what else we also have, remember the whom dictionary that I had out here? We can also put that on the bookshelf because this is, you know, technically a book. We can put that right here. Now I have a bunch of dictionaries, so maybe I'll put all the dictionaries on here as long as they fit. Uh, these extras here, I will put those on a lonely shelf over here. Oh, I can Take that down. We don't need this stuff anymore. Thank you, Johnny B, for coming out once again and painting. Doesn't it look much better all white? Because like the background's OSB didn't really match this, but all white, it's fine. And then once it's filled with books, it'll look even better. I know what else I can put on the shelf. I've been meaning to do this for months which is to sort all uh, of the, the fan mail. I've been piling it on here and I've been meaning to put it in to binders. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, also, I will be putting this book on there and this book and this book and all of these books and
this book. I think that's all the books. <laughs> that made me that made me lose lose my breath. I think these are all the books that uh, I've gotten from you guys. So I will be making a space for all the books and I will be finally sorting all the letters and stuff that you guys send me. Really appreciate all those things. And this doesn't really demonstrate that. So let's make that a little more presentable. All right, there we go. Thank you everyone who has sent me a letter. I really appreciate it. I enjoyed reading those letters again. All right, now all the stickers and art and stuff. The stickers will go in my sticker drawer. The art will go in an art folder until I have a place to hang it up. And uh, recipes, I even had recipes. All those recipes and stuff, they will go upstairs in the kitchen. And... Uh, all the other miscellaneous things or art supplies, whatever, all that stuff will be used. Please do not take offense that I have such a <laughs> such a terrible filing system. This is just kind of the chaos that is my life. But I do want you guys to know that I super appreciate it. Um, one of the things I do is I take this fishbowl right here and I put the uh, return addresses of every envelope that I get and stick them in the fishbowl and every once in a while I stick my hand in there try not to look here mix it around and I pull out a name and send you something so this time let me cover up this address here it is going to there so look forward to that in the near future I'm gonna send you something random and when I do send you something I take your name out of the uh, out of the fishbowl and uh, give someone else a chance. All right, let's take all this stuff to the shop. Okay, we're back. We're back in in the in the shop. I put the stuff that I uh, sorted out as as books and whatnot that could go on the shelf. Put it there for now. And as you can see, there's still so much room left on the shelf. It's been about like. Four, four days since uh, since I sorted all that out. Um, and in that time, uh, I found a whole bunch more of my books. Some of the books were super easy to locate, like some of these art books that I recently acquired. If you've been watching the vlog, then you might remember those. But I also pulled out some of my my old older art books that I already had and brought those out among some other miscellaneous books and magazines. I know I have some more Guinness World Record books somewhere, but I'm not quite sure where. I hope I didn't give them away, but I may have. And I also have some other uh, biographies and whatnot. Uh, my favorite though are, are comics, these type of comics, just like digest type comics. I don't really care for superhero comics, but like Archies and stuff. Remember when I said there had to be more Archies? Well, I found a few in here among some other like Mad, 
Ziggy, Charlie Brown, Heathcliff, a bunch of other random things. Bathroom readers and some other miscellaneous comic books. This is one of my favorite biographies. Marmaduke. And then some books that I just like to have for display and I don't actually plan on reading them. I think basically this is all the books that I have. And amongst all my books everywhere I looked, I also found this on Ashley's bookshelf. I remember getting this from Lindsay. I almost forgot about you. I will put you here for now with all the other books I was gifted. Thank you so much to everyone who sends me well, anything, but I, I like the look of books on the shelf. I don't read that often, except for like comic books and stuff. But I, I just, I love books for some reason. So thank you so much. Uh, when I get sorted here, I will find a place for each one of those. Thank you. Anyways, anyway, anyways, anyway. As I said, it's been about four days. Anyways, right? Anyways, anyway, anyway. Anyways, anyways, it's been about four days, as I said. And as you can tell, maybe, by what I'm wearing, the main diversion, diversion, diversion. The main hindrance, hindrance? The main thing that took me away from this project, would you call this a project? For the last four days, I've been to work. To work, or I've been at work. God, now I have to leave this in. There's just too many mistakes. This is real life. Okay, and while I have the three ways set up, let me show you kind of what we're doing in this space here. Um, this is going to be a brewery. Back here is gonna be all the Brewery stuff. Got Steve doing electric up there. What's up? <laughs> uh, and then further on back here, or into the front of the building, this is going to be a tap room. The room that I was just in, that's the kitchen. We got Clint up here. This is his project. He's putting on some wainscoting and uh, other embellishments around, around the whole. Uh, Whatever rest. What is this part called? Uh, tap room. Tap room, seating area, restaurant, seat, yeah. what, whatever. This is where you drink and eat. Yeah. <laughs> and then up there, on the second mezzanine level, we have. Uh, wait, let's go up there. <sighs> this area here is what's up. This is going to be probably my favorite spot. There's going to be a fireplace in this area. We have more wainscoting here. And this, I don't, I'm not doing too much with the creativity and design in this place, but I did bring these from my love barn. I was holding on to these for years, not knowing what I was going to do with them, but I had seven of them and he needed seven of them. So worked out perfect. I'm glad I picked those up from wherever the heck I picked them up from. What's that? Yeah, I think we have three more actually. I think we're gonna do on doors downstairs. To make oh, them I had 10 of them. them. Yeah, 10 of them, that's right, yeah. Oh, so Great more than enough. Oh, well, I'm, I'm glad to contribute. This is gonna be a super sick space. So this is a, another dine, I don't wanna, is it a dining area technically? It, it is, yeah, it's just another seating area just for downstairs. People will grab their food downstairs, bring it up here and then sit. Check, check these out, we got a whole bunch of these. Vintage these are from like the 1920s or 30s. They're pretty sweet. Yeah, they are cool. So some of those are going to go in these little vents like these here. A little fresh air return. It's going to be pretty sweet looking. That is going to be cool. So the idea with the wainscoting uh, embellishments like that, the the faux brick and all that, and and uh, these is it's a uh, steampunk with some artistic liberties. It's like a a mixture of steampunk and Steam like. It. Well, downstairs, even like with the brick, we kind of and the, and the steel beams, we want to go for kind of a look of if you can imagine a bar in a back alley underneath a bridge. <laughs> that's Something kinda, like that. Yeah. Kind of what we got going on downstairs, right? In, in a, like a steampunk type world. In a, in a late 1800s kind of a time period, yeah. 
sort of in any for. case it's gonna be freaking awesome so just over here this is where the, the office is going to be and then coming down the stairs here we have the other side these are not finished they're gonna be finished uh even more so than they than they are now they're gonna they're gonna look good i i guess and then underneath we have my job here the taping unfortunately there's a lot of bad old drywall work that uh just in the budget we had to work with what we had uh for the most part so we didn't do very much boarding uh, other than say the bathroom if you follow my instagram and you saw that you know it kind of sucks right here this is an old pipe that's supposed to be nothingness it still leaks water so we had to take take that board off but luckily luckily we caught that before it was all painted and done and then of course out here we have some drywall patchwork stuff this wall was already there they just had to take some stuff off and they changed the height of the of the food window so we had to do that but all of this is going to get cladded much like like this then there's another bathroom there but anyways time to get a little bit more messy i think these three ways might be about ready to uh flush out one of my least favorite parts of it but it's got to be done. Now, if you'd like to see that whole project completed and close to operation, make sure that you keep watching another vlog. All right, now we're back to the shelf. The main issue I have here is some of these shelves are, well, all of the shelves are the same size and not all of the books are the same size. Now I made these perfect for digest sized comic books, but like regular books are a little bit bigger. And I did know that, but I didn't know they were that much bigger. See the space that I allowed here? I thought that would be adequate. What I should have done is gone and got another book. Now, the space that I left down here was so that I could take some abnormally large books, like maybe this collection here, and put them somewhere in this area, which I will do or I might put them up at the top. And then another thing that I knew would be a problem is the shallow shelves here. These are two by sixes. And some of these books are quite, quite long, right? So if that were to fit on there, it would stick that far out, which is fine, but it would be better for some of these books if they didn't have to stick so far off the shelf. So during my time at work, I've been mulling some ideas over and what I'm gonna do is... After that, we still have to solve the problem of it being too, too shallow for these books. It's plenty high enough, and I made it a little bit higher than, than needed, just in case I get other books that are a little bit higher. Now to solve this problem here is I have these three pieces of lumber here for the next step. This is going to be the very first cut with this saw. And this is why I wanted such a deep bench. I can move all the other tools out of the way and slide this long 12 foot piece in here and still have room to cut without having to take anything off the bench. Awkward. 
You know what sucks about this wood? There we go. This cost me $70 for these three pieces of wood. Pre-COVID, this would have cost, oh shit. <laughs> Whoops. Oh well. There's a little teeter in it because the piece of wood is slightly cramped. So I'll screw it in here and then uh, I'll screw it in over there. There we go. Now one more screw in each. There isn't going to be any backing on this side, but wow. I uh, I butchered that, much like I butchered the wall trying to put this in here, but it serves its purpose. And actually it has a, a sort of a, a, a dual or tri purpose. One, obviously, so the books can stay on there nicely. Two, a uh, bit of a counter space, maybe I could put little... Uh, Little tchotchkes and like doohickeys and cameras on there. Uh, and three, which will need a little more work. This could be a step to reach higher shelves without having to get a ladder. For that, I will have to get some corbels built in here or some sort of reinforcement so that this can actually hold weight because right now it just has one two, three, four, five, six, seven screws. That's not gonna, that's not gonna cut it. Now, before I go any further, I think I wanna see what the books lo look like on here. And that will dictate where I go from there. Okay, that is all the books that I think I have. There's probably a few more. I know I'm missing, I have the first, second, third. I'm missing the fourth and fifth Herman Treasury. I'm pretty sure I have those, but they're not here. So I, I don't know. I'm missing a bunch of Garfield comics as well. So I do have more. I just don't know where they are right now. But this is more or less everything that I have book wise those could only fit up there so that's where I have the far side and everything else more or less fits here uh, thanks to in part to this modification and this modification here I may do further modifications and bring this shelf down so that I can put uh, like books this size or so up here I, I, I don't really I don't really know exactly. I kind of want all the Archie comics to stay together, and if I do get more in the future, I want them to be on the same size shelf. I'm like minor OCD, but not so OCD that I have to sort everything into its own category, although I may do that. These are all my artist portfolio type books. Uh, these are all my uh, easy reading Sunday paper comic books. And then I got some of these books here. This is not even books. I made this little stash. I just cut this so it would fit in there and I didn't wipe off the chip, chip out there. This is my original gold, gold brick that I made to showcase this on my Instagram. If you've been following my Instagram for a long time, you may remember that. 
This is the remaining gold brick I haven't yet hid. Remember when I went to LA and I hid the gold all over LA and various other places? I'll put a link in the description in case you want to see that. Well, this is number 10. I still need to hide it. I'm gonna hide that one day here in Edmonton. Look forward to another vlog. I'm not sure when I'll do that, but soon. Anyways, I think I like this. I think I will take all these books down and paint this white so that it matches. And the other two pieces that I have left over, I think I'll just return those because the three pieces together were 75 bucks. That's mad expensive. My original idea was not to use the existing framing. This is the wall that separates the, this is supposed to be the clean painting part of my shop. Behind, behind this wall is, is the main workshop, which is a mess, I know. It's a work in progress. Remember what's behind that door? Well, a lot more of this stuff will be able to go behind that door once it's more sorted and uh, filed properly. Let's call it filed. So this is what the wall looks like on the other side of the bookshelf. Also messy, and I do have plans for it. Originally, I was going to make this, like I was gonna put plumbing in here, hence the water barrel. And this is my old kitchen sink. It's one of the first things that we took out of the house when we bought it two-ish years ago. Um, what the heck? It happens to be Halloween today, but I'm not, that's not why this is here. I'm not even sure why it's here. This is one of Jakota's, Jakota's props. Uh, I don't know why it's here. One day we will have a prop room, probably in the new shop when we build that. And then we can put this wooden Christmas tree that's always in the way in there. Finally have a home for it when it's not Christmas. Anyways, everything starts with an idea, including the idea for the new shop. That keeps evolving in my mind. As time goes on, I think of more and more ideas. And this shelf is no exception. Originally, I was gonna clad this wall with plywood and then I was going to use a whole bunch of 2 by 12s to make the shelf. That would have been mad expensive. And now, since I've done this, I think I'm going to change my mind again. I had bought these two extra 2 by 6s to make two extra shelves down here, but I don't think I'm going to do that now. I'm not sure what I'm going to do under there, but, but not this. Pre-COVID, these would have been around 30 bucks, but since I spent almost $75 on them, it's like 72 something, it'll be nice to return these two pieces of wood. It just makes more sense. And I think there's, I mean, there's obviously more than enough room for the books I have. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do under there, but uh, I'll think of it. Everything starts with an idea, right? Have you ever heard the term walk and talk? Well, that's what I'm gonna do now. It just makes more sense. So for years, I didn't subscribe to the everything starts with an idea sort of thing. I, I thought that I did, but really I paid more attention to the negative aspects to what life kind of brought up. Now I'm kind of like, well, let's start with an idea and then we'll go from there. And that's kind of what I'm doing here. And, in this case, it, it happens to pertain to my shop. I've often uh, mentioned on this vlog that this is just temporary. I plan on building my dream shop and I've described this shop as my daydream shop. It's not quite what I want. My new shop has a lot of elements that this doesn't have and this shop has a lot of elements that my old shop didn't have. So I'm just kind of trying to scale up as I go. My new shop, I'd like to have a prop room, as I mentioned. I would like to have a bigger uh, climate controlled, like at least heated storage for all my uh, collections of junk that I use for artwork and whatnot. And I would like to have my Just Joshing with Dakota studio in there. Uh, some other elements, maybe even a gallery space, maybe like a spot reserved for working on my vehicles, like a mechanic area with a lift. A whole bunch of things that just this shop just can't accommodate. The reason why I'm not gonna add on to this to do all that kind of stuff is because it really needs to be taken down and brought back up because it's there's too much to fix. It's gonna cost way too much money. So this shop is serving as a rough draft to my new shop. I, I, I'm kind of 
aesthetic wise, dressing this up and coming up with ideas and seeing what I like and what works for this space. And I will likely carry it over to the new space, including displaying my collections. I would, I love collecting things. Like for example, when it comes to these books, I plan on collecting more books and who knows, I may even collect more Archie comics. In fact, I did find a 2018 uh, Archie. It's not likely I will collect more. Maybe I will. It just depends on if they start having new stories or maybe I'll collect them just so that I can have them and I will read them when I get them. Uh, but my point is, is that I like collecting things and I only collect things that I, that I actually like. You know that, uh, uh, what's that show? I forget what it's called. It's like a minimalist show where like, they're like, you need to hold it. If it brings you joy, keep it. If it doesn't throw it away, I would fail miserably at that show or maybe the opposite. I don't, I don't, I don't, I've never actually watched it, but everything that I have that I've collected, it is, yeah, it brings me joy. That's why I have it. It doesn't make sense that you would keep something that you don't actually want. Unless of course you need it for some other various reason. But I am very much not a minimalist. I'm a Mac Maximus. Ma is that a word? That's a name, right? Maximus. My name is Maximus Decimus Mer Meridius. My name is Maximus Decimus Meridius. Commander of the armies of the North. General of the Felix Legions. Loyal servant to the true emperor, Marcus Aurelius. Father to a murdered son, husband to a murdered wife, and I will have my vengeance. In this life or the next. <laughs> Gladiator. It's a good, it's a good, uh, good movie. You should watch it. I've always wanted the, uh, the, the mask that he has. Maybe I'll have a mask collection. Again, I only collect things that I like. And so my philosophy, everything starts with an idea sort of thing. This is the idea somewhat realized. I am very grateful for what I have and I feel very lucky, although I've worked pretty damn hard to get what I've had. But I've also had a lot of help uh, along the way, which I am super grateful for. And I don't ever want anyone who has helped me to think that I'm not grateful. But I'm just not where I want to be just yet. So I'm going to keep keep chasing the dream and why not? And if I'm dreaming, why not dream big? Cause I already don't have the thing I have. I have this and I will use it for now because it is, it is completely adequate. And I am, yeah, I hope that makes sense. I am terrible at rambling, but for now, this is what I have. I am very grateful. I am going to use it to its fullest potential and I am going to dress it up to the aesthetic that I enjoy. I mean, it's my shop. So like right now, I put the first coat of primer on the, the, the little counter space there for the trinkets and tchotchkes and as a step, I still need to put in like some sort of L bracket there. I will probably, I, I know what I want to get there. I want it to be kind of uh, sleek in a way. I don't want them to be that noticeable. I will have to pick those up and I will do that at another time. Is this dry yet? Oh, it is dry. Time for a second coat. Did I make you yawn? No, oh, that was perfect timing. Hey, thanks for watching the vlog. If you would like to see a deleted scene, I am going to be putting a link in the description to a video that showcases all of my hard, co co <laughs> hard copy books. So if you're interested in seeing what books I have on the shelf here, I'm not going to go through all the Archie comics. That would be ridiculous, but I will show you all the rest of them. Link in the description. Thanks for watching.